Some key points about going out on the ice and making your, uh, your move to the victim. Once we go on a, the primary rescuer chooses to take a boat or a, whatever craft he decides to use, uh, he has to go out onto the ice and start determining which is the best route to take. Uh, when you first step out on the ice, if you want to start walking out on the ice, you want to start sounding it. Use your device. You generally, a six-foot pike pole is great to take with you, um, and you want to sound the floor. All right, so you're hitting those key points. Sweep the floor. Get that snow off of it. Remember that the darker the ice is, the stronger it is. You're looking for those percolations and those cracks and the water seeping through. Once you start seeing those things, start adjusting or moving around that object and trying to find the best approach. Whether you're using the Rick Craft, whether you're using the Ritz Sled, or you're using the Banana Boat. As you're making your way out there, you want to make sure you sound and feel for the ice. When you're standing, you want to make sure that you shuffle your feet on the ice. Never take steps on the ice because you will fall every single time. So make sure that you're shuffling. Once you start feeling the ice become a little weaker, then you want to drop down. Get down in a three-point stance. Get in a good athletic position. Once you're in that three-point stance, again, sweeping the floor, sounding, making sure to, to check for the stability of the ice itself. If the ice becomes even weaker, you want to get down on your belly. You know, once you spread out, you're spreading that body weight across that surface. And once it's spread out across there, then you take your ice hauls, you dig them into the ice and start pulling yourself through and along the ice. Those are the three main key components of trying to move across the ice, whether it's singly with a victim or whether you're trying to bring a boat along with you. In this application, we have the boat tethered to the shore. So we have a shoreline back. We have the primary rescuer is tethered using the one inch webbing and is tethered to his safety harness in the back of his vest. So at any point in time, the component, if something critical happens, the shore guys can bring the boat in and Dalen will come in still attached to the boat. This gives some versatility, some mobility, but still not sacrificing any safety. All right, Dalen's gonna go ahead and go, demonstrating putting the craft into play. Come in and then we 